Hey you all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the north, more specifically, Lincoln, New Hampshire. And even more specifically than that, I am in front of Clark's Trading Post. This is a classic roadside attraction here in New Hampshire. It was originally called Ed Clark's Sled Dog Ranch when it opened in 1928. The, the whole appeal was would you come and see a bunch of sled dogs, which sounds adorable. Um, but in the 30s, the family acquired some black bears and began training them, and that kind of took off in a whole new uh, direction where, where, where travelers would stop to see bears performing, performing bears. And the bears are still performing to this day. And from what I understand, the, the roadside attraction has grown and, ex whoa, it's a bee in my face. The roadside attraction has grown and extended since that point. So follow me. Love this old posters here. Three feeds for one cent. That pig looks maniacal. I am sorry guys, I know it has a cult following, but I cannot get behind Moxie. It is not delicious to me. Okay, so I guess it's this way to get tickets for the attractions. Looks like we have a train ride. Uh-oh, we have a Wolfman? Always good to see an old friend. How are you doing, Zoltar? Apparently we do have to beware of the Wolfman. Apparently this is the Wolfman right here. Check out this old steam engine here. I think we'll be taking a ride on that in a little bit. One interesting thing I just noticed though, this uh, steam engine isn't pulling anything. Apparently it pushes the train. <laughs> That's unique. Looks like there's several museums on the property here. This is the Florence Murray Museum. I don't know who that is, but uh, we'll check it out. See some guns, 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 guns. Also some sword, 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 swords. Oh, look at this. Two-headed calf down here. I almost missed him. How are you doing there, little buddy? So it says down here the two-headed calf was born in Hobart, New York. 1944 and live for three minutes the star that shines the brightest shines the shortest also check out that guy it's another extraordinary calf here this one was born with six legs you can see those two legs hanging off the back there it's a collection of old board games here Oh, look at this fishing game. These fish have like slots in them. And you got to uh, pull other fish out of. And uh, we got some dolls in here. Oh, I love that one. The two-faced doll there. Check out that parrot right there in the uh, lantern. Chief. Pemigawasset's famous nerve medicine. Got some vintage fire engines in here. actual steam engine for a merry-go-round. The uh, city bank actually serves as the restrooms, just in case you need to make a deposit. We have the uh, classic group of lawyers, Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. Here we have Merlin's Mystical Mansion. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what's in there. 
I'm going to knock three times upon the door, at which point Merlin's butler will walk outside and ask who dares knock upon the wizard's door. When he does, you need to say, we do. If you're not loud enough, he may walk back inside. Who dares knock upon the wizard's door? We, we do. do. They wish to see the wizard. Have you deemed them worthy? I've deemed them worthy and prepared them well. Well, being deemed so worthy and prepared so well, you may of course follow me inside. He's formed two lines along you. <laughs> I'm going to knock upon this knocker and the door is going to magically open. <coughs> then if I can have this line enter through this door and that line through that door. Okay. I said... Catch your leave, guys. Come on in, have a seat. Leopard skin rug. I see you've all decided to stay despite the previous warnings you were given. However, I must advise if you have any second thoughts, doubts, or fears, now is your final chance to act upon them. For once the magic starts, it cannot be stopped. So, are we all sticking around? Yeah. yeah. Well, right then. I'm gonna lower these magical safety railings, so please do not touch them until I tell you. It's safe to do so. Oh, wow. You may now grab a hold of them if you wish. Up to you. We will now experience the mystery and power of Merlin's world. Rotating wildly. Right there. Okay, I was not expecting that. That was really, really cool. I was expecting maybe kind of a standard uh, mystery spot uh, type attraction there, and that was completely different. It was uh, you sit, as you saw, you like sit in these seats in the middle, and then the entire room rotates around you. It's it was a really cool and unique experience. It's an old timey gas station here. These two birds were caught stealing gas. I, okay. Check this out. This is the Moxie horse mobile. You can see that actually the horse is on top of the car so the driver would be uh, on top of the horse uh, steering with that steering wheel that's on top of the horse. They use this in parades to uh, promote Moxie. Maybe I do like Moxie, after all. This museum kind of shows uh, stuff from the actual attraction. There's some things from back when it was a uh, sled dog ranch. Now this is pretty interesting. Apparently they actually knit um, mittens and other articles of clothing out of the bear hair. There's a bear hat. A bear shawl. I don't know. I don't know about bear hair being uh, that comfortable of a fabric. And we have Dr. I. N. Payne, the dentist. Maybe that's Dr. N. Payne? Normally you'd have these water cannons to blast the people in the bumper boats, but unfortunately they decided that uh, that's just too cruel this time of the year. They have a rock wall and actually has the uh, old man in the mountain face on the rock climbing wall. That's a famous uh, natural formation that actually collapsed um, more than a decade ago. Borosaurus. Millions of years ago, the Borosaurus roamed the area. It was similar size as a T-Rex with a large drill-like horn on its head. It was constantly sharpening his horn that produced such a smooth hole in this granite boulder. It's for example of the Borosaurus hole was found at the old Johnson Lumber Camp. Um, so a dinosaur drilled a hole in the, what? What are, what are they even talking about? 
this rustic house this sideways and slanted and there is a shooting gallery inside yeah it's interesting because the shooting gallery actually slopes downward <laughs> Hey, mister. If you let you off the hooch, yeah, your rain might improve a little. <laughs> hey, jeez. Oh. oh. Alright, head into the Wolfie Segway Park. Apparently you can actually ride a Segway for free here. I've never ridden a Segway, so why not? Oh. I don't need no stinking rocket. I'm a loose cannon. Oh, yeah. 
You'll never make it over that bridge. It's old and unstable. I'm coming for you. Uh, Actually, have a bear cemetery here. It says, Here lies my friend Jasper Show Bear from 1961 to 1988. Ebony of Midnight, uh, both born in 1949. Twin sister and brother Ursula and Anx. Um, our more recent bears born in 1987, passed away in the 2000s. Rufus, uh, New Hampshire Black Bear, the oldest on record. Uh, he was alive for almost 39 years. And here's twin sisters, Sapphire and Pearl. See a etching of them crawling on their post there. All right, the bear show is getting ready to start. All right, under this big top here, we have a bear performance area. People getting their seats, getting ready for the bear show. Let's start the show properly. Oh. Oh. Nicely done. It's ice cream as a reward. Hooray! The tax bills are red. Said no one ever. Oh, <laughs> sweetheart, I've got one question for you. Did the taxes go up this year? Hello. Oh my. And who said New Hampshire was tax free? So, drinks from a bear can. You can find these along the edges of the highways here in New Hampshire. Parking lots, back alleyways, wherever the wild bears drop them, I guess. Would you look at that? She's barefoot. <laughs> Ain't that something? And after she's done drinking the contents of the can, she will not drop it down on the ground and walk off like a people. Echo has better manners than that. She is the first bear in history to recycle. That's right. Oh, recycling All bear. of our black bears are going green. Here comes the wind up. Oh, help yourself. And there she goes. Oh, she loves to swing. No fear of the motion or the height from the ground. As a matter of fact, Echo thinks that all bears swing in chairs. Back and forth. Nice and easy. You wind up, take aim, and send it. I'm open. And you miss me. But you got a bear on one that time. And if I go like this, doesn't she look just like Judy Jetson? <laughs> Are you ready to play? All right, here it comes. Good catch. <laughs> and she's off. And there's a faster corrector. Goals wide open, no goal in sight. We lose one every show. On a breakaway, get closer, real beautician, stops to look the audience over. Slap shot from there, didn't even come close. Oh, there we won again. He's going to grab that scooter, walk it up, put a foot on, and away you go. Now, there's something you don't see every day. And it's not every day you get to see something you don't see every day. He's still in driver's ed. Practicing up to be an Uber driver. Appreciate you guys joining me here at Clark's Training Post. This is really a, a surprise, a very pleasant surprise. I had not expected um, the attraction to be this expansive. There's a lot to do here. You've got the, the train ride where you're being chased by the Wolfman. You've got the Merlin's Mansion where you're inside a house that spins around you. It's really cool. And uh, then of course the bear show, the classic bear show here. So a uh, very, very amazing and unique roadside attraction here. If you'd like to see other places I've been, please check the interactive map in the description. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, 
consider buying a t-shirt, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one is in the bag.